What's in the center of the Milky Way? What would you do if you found out that somewhere in the night sky there was a mysterious light unlike anything we've ever seen before? What if we told you that this light sits at the center of our galaxy and NASA has no idea what it is? It might sound like science fiction, but it is a real-life interstellar mystery that's unfolding minute by minute. There really is a bright light, and it went unnoticed by the scientific community up until recently. But what is this light? How did it go undetected for so long? And what made scientists think that this was the proof of dark matter they've been looking for? To answer these questions, first we need to talk about how we discovered this light. You might have learned about the electromagnetic spectrum in school, but if you haven't, here's a refresher. Just like sound has high pitch frequencies and low pitch frequencies, light also comes in a wide array of frequencies. Low frequency light, like that given off by incandescent bulbs, looks more yellow or red. Higher frequency light, such as sunlight, looks bluer, but the human eye can only perceive a small range of these colors, and that's what we call visible light. Outside of visible light, there are frequencies we can't detect, such as infrared or ultraviolet. Instead, we build machines that can detect them for us. The highest frequency on the electromagnetic spectrum is called gamma ray. They're given off by things like supernovas or black holes. You might have seen gamma rays in the Incredible Hulk comic book as the force which caused Bruce Banner to become the Hulk. Because it's far outside of the visible light spectrum, it's completely invisible to the human eye. In order to detect gamma rays, engineers have created a number of machines that track and study gamma radiation. In 2010, NASA launched the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. It was a satellite capable of capturing and distinguishing these gamma rays from cosmic rays. This gave us a look at the galaxy which we've never seen before. And quite a lot was revealed with the results stunning scientists. For instance, before then, it was incredibly difficult to actually see the center of the galaxy. We could use math and science and observation to determine the shape of the galaxy as a whole. But we just couldn't look up into the night sky with standard equipment and see the galactic center. That's because between us and the center of the galaxy is a thick layer of space dust blocking the view. No visible light is able to penetrate this dust, and it obscures the galaxy from clear view. The good news is gamma radiation passes right through, which means with the help of our brand new Fermi telescope, we see a lot more of the galaxy than ever before. This is how we discovered the unexplained bright light for the first time. Most of the galaxy showed the expected levels of radiation. However, there was one area that was off the charts. The center of the galaxy displayed such unexpectedly high levels of radiation that scientists were left perplexed. What could it mean? There were no good explanations to account for this abnormally high reading. There were no apparent sources for the gamma radiation. So where did it come from? Some of the first theories proposed were that this abnormally high reading was caused by dark matter. Okay, so dark matter is a pretty deep subject, but let's cover the basics. First, we have a pretty good understanding of how the physics of the universe work. We know about momentum, energy, gravity, and electromagnetism. However, there are a few exceptions to the rule that just didn't make sense. Sometimes objects didn't follow the trajectory we knew they should. Sometimes there were orbits around empty space. Either we didn't understand gravity, or there was something else at work. That's why in 1933, a Swiss scientist named Fritz Zwicky theorized that this strange behavior does make sense. And there is probably a type of invisible matter that we can't perceive. This theory would explain all the weird gravitational behavior we're seeing out in space. Other scientists agree that it does make sense that it would explain a lot. They call the invisible matter dark matter. To make it even simpler, let's say the universe is a dessert made out of jello and pieces of fruit. Our planet, the stars, and everything we can see are like the pieces of fruit. Dark matter is like the jello holding us all together. It's invisible, yet necessary. So what does this have to do with the mysterious spike of gamma radiation coming from the center of the galaxy? We know that gamma readings don't come from regular stars, because regular stars just don't have enough energy to give off a significant amount of gamma rays. Instead, gamma radiation comes from extremely violent reactions, like those found in black holes, 
supernova explosions, fission, fusion, and nuclear reactions. So we know that gamma rays had to be coming from something else, and scientists think that dark matter might be responsible. It's possible that when dark matter collides with itself, the reaction is extremely violent. Even though they're both invisible, perhaps the collision would create an immense amount of energy and produce a large amount of gamma radiation. Unfortunately, a separate group of scientists think this idea doesn't explain the readings. Dark matter is supposed to make up 85% of all matter. So why would the collisions be in just one location instead of spread evenly throughout the galaxy? It doesn't make sense. Instead, they say the gamma radiation comes from something called a pulsar. What is a pulsar, you ask? Sometimes when a star becomes too big, the gravity will cause it to collapse on itself. The collapse will sometimes result in an extremely small, extremely dense star. All of the star's matter is condensed into a sphere only 18 miles across. On a cosmic scale, that's almost unheard of for so much energy. This tiny star has a special name, a neutron star. If a neutron star starts spinning incredibly fast, it's called a pulsar because it gives off pulses of radiation on each rotation. The radiation includes gamma rays. So for right now, that's the scientific community's best theory. For some unknown reason, there's a cluster of neutron stars orbiting the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. However, as with many early theories, it's just a guess. This might be just one in a long line of theories trying to explain the mysterious bright light. That's the nature of science. Old ideas are thrown out as we disprove them. We hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think about the mysterious light? And does dark matter really exist? Let us know in the comments if you like the video. Then click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.